Antigone is the man of Soho because he was from a place called Soho. And that's not Soho in the in Greenwich Village, but <laughs> we have the famous story in the Gemara of Nachum Ish Gamzu. Familiar with the story of Nachum Ish Gamzu? Some of you are. That he said any anything Gemara says anything that happened to him. He would say, Gamzu Tov. And I want to, here I want to share something that just, this is a random trivial factoid that I happen to know and most people don't know. So I figure I'll share it because if you don't hear it from me and I can hear it from anyone else. Very famously, the Gemara is quoted as saying, he was called Nachem Ish Gamzu because he, he would always say, Gamzu Latova, right? This too is for the good. Now, I have, come across in my research of Nachum Ish Gamzu, because I like to research the personalities of the Talmud, um, that there are variants of the Gemara that don't say this. They don't say that's the reason he was called Nachum Ish Gamzu. In fact, it appears, it may seem that the older, more authentic text of the Gemara is missing that, and it was added in later. Why do I say that? Because if you look at some old Mepharshim, some old commentaries on the Gemara, who predate Rashi, the commentary is the one that informs us why he was called Nachem Gamzu, as though it wasn't in the text. You see it's in the commentary. Oh, why was he called Nachem Gamzu? Because he used to say Gamzu Latova. Why do I need a commentary to tell me that it's in the text? You see this commentary did not have that in the text, and he was adding it in, and it's my feeling, based on that, that later editors just added it to the text. Um, I'm not arguing with the fact, but the question is whether it's there, why? Because there are other opinions that his name was Nachum Ish Gimzo, actually, with no vowels in the Gemara, so how do you know? Because there are other opinions that his name was Nachum Ish Gimzo, because Gimzo is the name of a city in the Tanakh, and he was from this city, he was Ish Gimzo, the man of Gimzo, like Antig- Antigonus Ish Soho, Antig- Antigonus the man of Soho, because he was from a place called Soho. So, and that's not Soho in the in Greenwich Village, but... Um, so here, the question is, is he, so it's, it's sort of an argument between the commentators. Is he Ish Gimzo or is he Ish Gamzu? And how do you have such an argument if the Gemara says openly why he was called Gamzu, right? There are those who say it was a play. Yes, he was both. He was Ish Gimzo, but they nicknamed him Gamzu because he said Gamzu Latova. And these two opinions don't need to be in conflict. Um... But that's just an interesting tidbit about Nachum Ishgamzu. But Nachum Gamzu, one of the opinions or our current uh, contemporary text of the Gemara says that he was called Nachum Ish Gamzu, man of Gamzu, because he always said Gamzu Latova. No matter what happened, this too is for the good. His student, Rabbi Akiva, who studied under Nachum Ish Gamzu for how many years? 22 years. Studied underneath Nachum Ish Gamzu. Also, famous story about Rabbi Akiva, that he was traveling. It was worth it to tell the story. He was traveling and he had a donkey. That was his his faithful steed, right? He had a chicken, which was going to be his meal. And he had a uh, candle or a torch. He had some kind of flame to light his way. And he came to a town and he asked for lodging and everyone turned him down. So here he was. He had nowhere to stay and he was going to have to sleep in the field. So he says, Kol, kol my da'avid rachmana. Everything which God does, Rahman means the merciful one, God. The same thing in Arabic, Rahman. They call God Rahman in, uh, in Arabic. Well, everything that the merciful one does, Latav of it, Latav of it. He does Latav for good. Latova this is Aramaic for Latova is Latav. And so what happens? He's sleeping there in the next, uh, no, so in the middle of the night, um, a lion comes and kills his donkey. And then he says, everything God does is for good. And then uh, a, I think a weasel comes and eats his chicken. He says, everything God does is for good. And then a wind comes and blows out his light. He says, everything God does is for good. The next morning he comes into town and everybody's dead. And he looks around, he finds somebody and he says, what happened over here? And they say, oh, there was a, a band of uh, marauders that came in the middle of the night. And they killed everybody. And so 
so or the kiva says, wow, if I had had my animals making noise, they would have discovered me. If I had had my light, you know, uh, shining, they would have discovered me. And I also could have been a casualty. So indeed, all the things that happened to me that appeared to be unfortunate when they happened were actually lit up. They were for good. You don't hear from me and I can hear from anyone else.